What do you notice about the leaf? It's soft and fuzzy. Yeah, somebody said lamb's ear. Um, it's very, very fuzzy. Yeah, so that's a good thing. Hop horn beam. Now, who has a hand lens? This is what I need here. Yeah, here's some good ones. You want to look at, with your hand lens, Uh, here, you, hold yeah, yeah. you, you want to look at. Here, let me have your paper. I'll give, you're going to get the original sketch. Okay? Here's a bud. That's not helpful. Okay? Here's the bud scales. Bud scales. That's still not helpful. Like, that's stupid. But on each bud scale, there's little vertical lines like this. You need a hand lens, trust me. I think I see You see them? A little bit, yeah. Really? Put up in the sun. Do you see them with the hand lens? Barely. You see them? I thought you Okay, you, that, you learn that. You may as well look at the bud scale, <laughs> and it should say, I'm hop hornbeam. So we're not just looking at, okay, twig, then bud. We're into the bud scale. And then we got to look at for little grooves. And I mentioned you might want a hand lens in the lab. So now that's a very helpful thing. The, uh, the tree, let's go and show you maybe an average size one. Now, okay, I'm saying this is an average size. So they're not big trees, <laughs> all right? They're literally, by definition, a small tree. And their bark, up where I can't reach, over the years we've got this all rubbed and knocked off. You see right up in there, if you come down, see how scaly it gets? <laughs> but we've kind of got it all knocked off down here. It gets very, very finely scaly, almost shreddy, the bark. This is another one. It's just start, barely, barely starting to develop it. But they get a very dark brown. One of the things, one of the trunks that are brown, remember all the shades of gray we talked about, that one's kind of brown and scaly. Especially up, again, at about 10 feet where we can't reach and knock them all off. <laughs> we'll have to move to another tree. There's another one there. Now next week you're going to learn hornbeam. This is hop hornbeam, and the reason they gave it that name is the fruits look like hops. Like you make beer out of it. They hang in a clump and there aren't, we didn't see any. And after two days, this is our third day here. <laughs> we haven't found any. But you can see pictures of them. Uh, they hang in a clump and kind of look like hops. They're, they're individual little bladders. They kind of kind of fly. They're not great, but they, they, will, they will fly. And up inside the bladder is a tiny little seed in one end. What are those again? Catkins. Wait a minute, I thought birches had catkins. It's in the Betulaceae. It's in the birch family. And so they'll have little catkins that look like little sparrows' toes, twos and threes on the ends of the twigs. They look about they're about the size of little a, a small bird's foot. Some are bigger. Some birches have bigger ones than others. These are about the size of like sparrows' feet on the tree. So you might see catkins on it as well. And it's native and it's uh, common in moist areas.